Have you ever feel like you're spending hours doing something in After Effects that could be done within a seconds? Well, you're in a luck today because I'm going to show you top 50 time saving shortcuts that will level up your After Effects workflow and save tons of time. After Effects is packed with so many tools but let's be honest, clicking through each and every menu is like 2005. Knowing the right shortcut can turn hours of work into a minutes and make you look like a pro. So let's dive in. So let's see general workflow shortcuts. If you hit spacebar on your keyboard, you can preview your animation like this. Similarly, if you hit spacebar again, you can stop it like that. If you hit Ctrl N on your keyboard, you can create a new composition. Then you can adjust the settings the way you want and simply hit OK. Then it will create totally new composition. If you want to duplicate layers, simply select this layer and hit Ctrl D. And you can follow this procedure so many times to create multiple layers. If you want to move all of this into the new composition, simply select all of them and press Ctrl Shift C which is a shortcut key for pre-compose. You can call it as animation and whatever you want and simply hit OK. And if you double click, all of them are totally into the new composition. Ctrl S is a shortcut key to save your animation. Similarly, Ctrl Shift S is a shortcut key that where you want to save it. Ctrl Z is a shortcut key to undo. Similarly, Ctrl Shift Z is shortcut key for redo it. If you want to create null object, simply press Ctrl Shift Alt Y. And if you want to create adjustment layer, simply press Ctrl Alt Y. If you want to change the composition settings of your this comp, simply hit Ctrl K to open the composition settings. And over here, you can change whatever settings you need to change over here. How many of these shortcuts do you already use? Let me know in the comments below. And if you are learning something new, give this video a like and your future self will thank you. Now let's talk about layer and timeline management shortcuts. If you want to reveal the keyframes, you simply hit U so it will reveal all the keyframes. And if you hit U two times, it will reveal all the modified options over here. If your time indicator is at the middle and you want to move your time indicator at the start of this null object, simply press I on your keyboard, it will move over here. And then if you want to move this time indicator at the end of this selected uh, layer, simply hit O over there, like that. So I to go backward and O to go at the end. If your time indicator is at the middle and you want to jump on each and every keyframe, so if you press J on your keyboard, it will jump on the backward keyframes like this. And if you hit K, it will go forward wherever is your next keyframe like that. So J is for backward keyframes and K is for keyframes which are in front of that indicator. If you want to trim this layer, simply hold Alt open square bracket to trim from the start. And if you want to trim from the end, simply hold Alt close square bracket like this. If you want to split this layer into two portions, simply press Ctrl Shift D, which is a shortcut key to split this layer. Now let's talk about keyframes and animation shortcut. If you want to copy those keyframes, simply select those keyframe, hit Ctrl C and Ctrl V. Similarly, if you want to cut those keyframes, simply select those keyframes, hit Ctrl X, go to wherever you want and simply hit Ctrl V. If you want to apply keyframes for any specific property, you can apply it by holding Alt Shift and P for position. Similarly, Alt Shift S for scaling, Alt Shift R for rotation and Alt Shift T for opacity. If you want to apply ease in ease out, simply select those keyframes and hit F9. Similarly, if you want to remove that ease in ease out, simply hold Ctrl and click on it. If you want to change the keyframe velocity, simply select those keyframes and press Ctrl Shift K, which is a shortcut key to open the keyframe velocity and you can adjust your settings over here. If you want to open keyframe interpolation, simply hold Ctrl Alt K, which is a shortcut key for opening keyframe interpolation. If you want to adjust the duration of your all animation, simply select those keyframe and by holding Alt, you can drag it like this. So it will reduce the duration. Simili similarly, by holding Alt, you can drag it up to this like that. So it will increase the duration. Now let's talk about text layers and shape layer shortcuts. If you press Ctrl T on your keyboard, you will get text tool and you can type whatever text you want. 
and then you can adjust the characteristics of the text over here and you can animate accordingly. If you press Ctrl Shift Alt T on your keyboard, it will create empty text layer and you can type whatever text you want. If you want to adjust the size of this text according to your composition, so simply press Ctrl Shift Alt G and it will adjust the size according to your composition size. If you double click on the shape layers like this, it will automatically create a shape according to your composition size. For example, if I select uh, ellipse over here and if I double click, it will create ellipse according to size. Similarly, if I have a composition like 1080 pixels height and 1080 pixels width and if I double click on it now, it will create according to my composition size. Now let's talk about zooming and navigation shortcuts. If you press Ctrl plus, obviously you can zoom in. Similarly, if you hit Ctrl minus, you can zoom out. Similarly, if you scroll your mouse, you can zoom in, zoom out like this. If you hit spacebar and left click, you can pan in this viewport like this. Similarly, if you want to make it fit, simply go to this option over here and choose fit like this. If you want to go at the start of this composition of selected layers, simply hit home and if you want to go at the end, simply hit end. Now let's talk about rendering and output shortcuts. If I hit Ctrl M on my keyboard, it will go to the render queue and I can adjust my settings over here and I can put it on render. If you want to add ruler to your animation, simply hit Ctrl R, it will enable the ruler and you can drag and drop this kind of lines over here. If you want to add camera panels over here, simply go to choose grid and guide option and simply hit on title safe action so it will create this kind of guidelines according to our camera. Similarly, if you go over here, you will get this option called proportional grid as well so it will create this kind of grid. So it would be better for us to adjust the shape according to the grid. Now let's see some bonus advanced shortcuts. If you want to find out specific layers, simply press Ctrl F and you can find whatever layer you want from here. If you want to rotate selected layer, you can press R and rotate it like this. Similarly, if you hit W, it will enable our rotation tool and you can rotate it from here. If you want to create a mask on the selected layer with the help of shape tool or pen tool, simply hit G which is a shortcut key for pen tool and then you can create mask like this. If you want to adjust the if you want to adjust the anchor point of a selected layer, simply hit Y on your keyboard to enable our pen behind tool and you can adjust the anchor point wherever you want. Similarly, if you want to adjust the anchor point at the center, simply press Ctrl Alt Home which is a shortcut key to align that anchor point to the center of that object. If you want to enable the puppet tool which is this one, the shortcut key for that is Ctrl P and you can create your puppets. If you want to select and change the color of the solid, simply press Ctrl Shift Y, it will open the solid settings and then you can change the color of that layer to anything you want. And there you have it, 50 shortcuts to save your time, reduce frustration and make your after effect results. Which shortcut blew your mind the most? Drop in the comments. And if you are ready to take your motion graphics skills to the next level, check out my Udemy courses as well. Links are available in the description. And also don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more awesome content.